It's okay, no. Oh, Elite Clue Scroll. Okay, well, that means I'm definitely gonna want to do some clues, yeah. Here we go, Master Clue. In quite a while. Please, please. Give me something nice. Oh my god. Wow. That's two Demon Masks in one clue. That's, that's lit, man. Actually, I have the Black Demon Mask already, but for this, though, the Lizard Demon Mask, I definitely haven't gotten this before. That, that's cool. Oh, wow. Yay, we got something new to the collection, man. Pretty happy about that. Now you just gotta go. Right? Oh, shit, this is awesome. Oh, my God, the deposit all button for a private chest. That is beautiful, man. Beautiful freaking full. Oh, a drop. Nice. But doodle. Here we go. Oh, ho, ho, man. The arcane prayer scroll. All right. All right. The grind continues then. The grind continues. All right. So we got that master clue from the elite yesterday. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Yo, that's sick. I just got a freaking robot of darkness. Oh my god, dude, that's a unique item and a half. Yes, I am pretty confident I've never gotten this before. Oh, so close, guys. So close to finishing the, the hood set. I just need to get the top. And I and I have the their darkness set. That's cool, man. Can't wait to get that. Actually, it looks really good. I want to talk about these unidentified minerals, right? So I got a bunch of these while mining in the mining guild. And I can trade this in to get myself the mining gloves. Now these mining gloves are pretty good because depending on what you have, you can mine a certain rocks and have a chance to not deplete them. So the best ones, like the superior mining gloves, they have a chance that when you mine a runite ore rock, it actually does not deplete it. So it's about a 12.5%, which is cool. Now you're gonna be asking me, okay, so are you gonna actually go ahead and mine rune auras well i plan on it actually because there's some rune aura rocks i'll show you that are uh just east of where i usually mine and uh, basically they they spawn you know a solid every uh 10 or so minutes uh, as long as you know i time it well i'll be able to mine it always and getting these gloves actually would be pretty cool i'll be able to get some more runite ores out of those rocks so i'm gonna go ahead and actually get both of these and actually you can combine this so that there's one glove that affects pretty much all types of standard auras. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine these by talking to the NPC. And I do have the minerals so that's fine. And bam I got the expert mining gloves. That's awesome. That's awesome. I didn't think I would get inside this task but I still got 36 left. Yo, I'm going to go cash this in. It's been over a year since I've cashed one of these bad boys in. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, turn this in. Not expecting too much, but uh, here we go. Oh, a freaking bludgeon spine. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm kind of tempted to make a second bludgeon, to be honest. <laughs> Easy game. Ooh, elite clue scroll, too. My... Dang, my dude, Sire coming in with all the good stuff right now. Blood runes. Nice. I have a lot of these. Still have like 50k blood runes. Ooh, just hit 900 KC at the sire though. About to wrap up on this here task. 22 more to go. Alright, well. First episode sire task in over a year. Completed. Pretty fun. Found like, you know, some new ways to do sire that definitely speed it up. It's really fun. You know, hyper setup with mailing and uh, twisted bow. Maybe I'll go back, you know, in the future again. Oh, Elite Clues Grill. That's cool. I like that a lot. 41,000 points though. New record. Got that double agility room. Was lit. Fresh off of raids. So here we go. Wow, that is a. Uh... Oh my god. I got five Runite Auras out of two Runite Aura rocks. That's amazing, man. Thank you, God Base, Frack Opera 4, and Mining Gloves. Come on, 94 Hunter! Oh, more dragon arrows for my twisted bow. See, not a meme this time. 
What the heck did they do to my granite cannonballs, man? Ah, uh, yeah. It must be Christmas thing or something. Yeah, it's definitely for Christmas, man. I wonder if it shoots with this model. It actually does. Surprise. If, if that's you, there's definitely a... Oh, shit. Finally. 250 gargoyles tasks. Holy crap. I just maxed out. I just maxed out, dude. That's amazing. I've been looking for this task for quite a while. Finally, we can uh, do some gargoyle boss soon. And you go through a shit ton of... Oh, what? This thing is also freaking Christmas thing, too. You saw that? So I am working on uh, cutting some amethyst into the arrow tips. And surprisingly, it's actually a really good experience because you cut them really fast. It's about like gem speed, actually. So I thought it would be slower, but yeah, it's 150k crafting experience an hour. So that's really good. So it's about 3,000, a little bit under 3,000 amethyst an hour that you can cut. I have about 9,000 of these, so it'll take me like... A little bit over three hours to finish all of these and soon I do want to turn all of them to arrows so I should have a lifetime supply of amethyst arrows coming up within the week I cannot wait to look at that in my bank honestly man this last level this level took such a long time guys yeah I was not able to keep up the weekly levels unfortunately but I did finally get to 98 though which puts me at one more level to go for the 99 crafting. One last level, guys. And I can now make Santa Emulets, of course. I already have that, though. Boosting, by the way. But yeah, that's awesome. And yeah, one level away, and I'll be at 2200 total, too. That's, that's a pretty damn good accomplishment, getting there. So, guys, I have 1.2 million experience left to 99. And let me update you guys on what I'm planning to do for the last level. So originally, when I first uh, wanted to get the 99 crafting goal, I was going to use the silver ore to get the last 1 mil XP. You know, just spend an hour or two, a blast furnace, make some bars, and then make 70 hours. They're actually really good XP. But I actually have stockpiled a lot of amethyst and like emeralds and all these other gems from raids that I actually don't have to do that anymore. From the 14,000 emeralds, I'll get about 1 million crafting speed once I turn them into uh, amulets. And then also from my remaining amethyst too, I should get about the last 200,000. Uh, it's just a matter of finding the time right now to actually do it. So this is finals week, so I probably won't get 99 crafting until after uh, the semester's over and you know, I get back home and uh, spend a month away from school so yeah definitely gonna have 99 crafting then so cannot wait that's like four ranges or some shit was it three uncut onyx all right that was worth eating or else you know might have missed on a uh, uncut onyx not bad mainly looking for scales but hey it's a nice uh collection there that's for sure take some time to pr oh i got a leak clue scroll Nice. All right, this master clue is from Zora on the scale hunt. Here we go. Here we go. Wow, that is a. Uh... Yeah, it's pretty all right, I guess. The the Alks are good, but I guess this is like the elite clue version of master clues in terms of generic rewards. All right, this will be 500 KC on the dot. And I get some dragon tips, not bad. But yeah, slowly working on this task. I just got 223 left. Good chance. Might get the core with that much left, but it's a good KC milestone nonetheless. Oh, actually, this one's from Zora. There we go. Let's try it out. Wow, that was such a delayed opening. But, alright, half a nut sack. A lot better than the last few elite clues, right? At least I got 250k worth of value out of that. Not bad. Alright, so I just did a little bit over an hour of a Jody at 87. And I only used 8 summer pies. Yeah, just 8. Okay, this is the last pack of feathers I'm going to be buying for like a long time, I hope. Because, you probably have guessed it, I'm going to be making all of the uh, amethyst arrows like around now. 
So let's see here. I have created about 138,000 amethyst arrow tips. My plan, pretty ambitious, is going to be to make 138,000 amethyst arrows. So all that's left uh, right now is to get arrow shafts. I'll be using u just because yeah, I have so many. And I'll be able to get the arrow shafts a lot quicker if I just cut the uh, U-Logs. So let's get started. Okay, that's got to be enough. Right, finally, we got all of the things we need to make these arrows. Let's get started then, shall we? It's going to be a long, long grind, huh? Hopefully, I have the motivation to finish this all in one go. That's the plan anyways. Yo, I got to tell you guys something. So, if I make all of these uh, amethyst arrows, I will actually get 99 fletching, guys. Seriously, this is 1.8 million uh, experience worth just attaching the tips to the headless arrows. So, I might be getting 99 fletching before I even get 99 crafting. We'll see. I'm not sure though because like I can't really AFK these while I'm studying cuz uh yeah, making these headless arrows like they're too fast. So, I was trying to like, you know, see if I could finish all of this by today or tomorrow, but there's no way cuz Actually, uh, turning all of these into the headless arrows will take like four hours, and turning all of the uh, headless arrows into arrows is gonna take another four hours. So there just won't be enough time to actually get it done by uh, tomorrow. So, so finals week is here, and that means uh, I will be spending a lot of time back at amethyst mining. So there won't be too much progress going on for a few days, but I will see you with another video though uh, during winter break. So next week. I cannot wait. Yes, winter break, guys. I'm going to be uh, off from school for a solid month. And during that month, I believe Dragon Slayer 2 quest will be coming out in January. I hope it's early January. So that way I can still, you know, experience the update while I'm still on break. So that would be really awesome. Uh, things coming out with Dragon Slayer 2, obviously the boss forecast and uh, the new best in slot range cape, which is the Alva's Assembler. So I cannot wait to get that, you know, alongside stuff like Dragon Kite Shield, Dragon Plate Body, all that good stuff. And if you are new to the series and you would like to stay up to date with future progress on this character, feel free to subscribe, that way you'll know exactly when the next video will come out. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys soon with another video in a few days. Happy Holidays to those of you that uh, will be celebrating uh, the upcoming month. Bye bye.